why I prescribe transcendental meditation to my patients, among the other 5,500 physicians or so who have learned to practice transcendental meditation themselves in the United States. Unfold your full potential. I practice the TM technique, and there's no question that it has helped me relax, also to think more clearly, to immediately recover from a stressful encounter, and to make effective in-depth decisions. Transcendental Meditation, the Maharshi Technology of the Unified Field. Hi, I'm Squire Friedel, and this is my wife Susie. Hi. Thousands of medical doctors have learned Transcendental Meditation as a way to stay younger, healthier, and enjoy life more fully. Now, many doctors are saying that 300 scientific research studies together show Transcendental Meditation, TM, to be the single most effective thing you can do to release stress, to improve all aspects of health, and to increase inner happiness. And research indicates that TM also improves your memory, your concentration, and learning ability. So you can see it, it can be very practical for everyone. Transcendental Meditation is a simple, natural, effortless, and easy to learn technique that you practice for a few minutes morning and evening while sitting comfortably with your eyes closed. Transcendental Meditation founded nearly 30 years ago by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, has now been learned by over three million people around the world. Now in the next half hour, we'll meet people, doctors, and educators who practice TM, and we'll tell you how you can learn it too. In Washington, D.C., Barry Charles, a family physician, president of the World Medical Association for Perfect Health in the United States, explains why he, as a physician, recommends TM. To a physician, the Transcendental Meditation Technique is the most effective procedure for the prevention of illness, the preservation of health, and the promotion of longevity. It's extremely satisfying to be able to recommend Transcendental Meditation to both colleagues, physicians, family, and friends, because the benefits come right from the start, and they're cumulative. It's a very simple procedure to learn. Anyone can do it. It's universal in its practice. One doesn't need to change any lifestyle, beliefs, diets, anything like that. It's a mental technique. One just sits comfortably with the eyes closed, uses the thinking process of the mind in a very certain specific way that's taught by trained teachers. The teachers are very professional in their training, having been personally qualified by Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, the founder of Transcendental Meditation, and the follow-up is very complete. So a doctor can have great confidence in recommending and prescribing Transcendental Meditation. The initial research on TM was published over 15 years ago by Dr. Robert Keith Wallace. Dr. Wallace is a physiologist and chairman of the Department of Biology at Maharishi International University. Now, following Dr. Wallace are several prominent physicians and researchers. Over the past 15 years, there's been extensive research on the physiological effects of the Maharshi technology of the unified field, in particular on the Transcendental Meditation and TM City program, the practical aspect of this technology. This research has been done at top universities and research institutions. It's been published in the best journals. And essentially what it's shown is that during this technique, there's a profound state of restful alertness. And you can measure that by very concrete measurements. Decreased oxygen consumption showing levels lower than a full night's sleep. When the body rests, oxygen consumption decreases. During sleep, the body gradually reduces oxygen consumption by about 8%. During the practice of the TM technique, the mind remains alert, while profound levels of rest are commonly found within the first few minutes, releasing stress and normalizing the physiology. If you look at the activity of the brain, this unique state of rest is accompanied by an inner state of alertness, a very highly integrated state of the brain, in which the many different neurons of the brain somehow are more coordinated in their activity. Now, from my own experience as a researcher, this is really one of the most important discoveries. It indicates to us how the mind can create a fundamental basis for activity, a very deep state of inner alertness, which is the basis for whatever we do. TM is effective in reducing stress, and we've never had anything like it. Uh, the body gets deep rest during the TM technique. The mind gets deep rest during the TM technique. The result is rest. It's our fundamental prescription for all illness and what's at the basis of essentially all illness, stress. Uh, stress to the body, stress to the mind. The TM technique reduces this in a way we've never imagined could happen before and to a magnitude we've never imagined could happen before. 
an in individual who starts to meditate and has, quote, normal blood pressure, we find that that blood pressure also goes down. So it may be that our society has uh, unusually high standards, if you will, of what's acceptable as normal for, uh, because of our very stressful uh, existence. And uh, we find people who are normal becoming super normal, if you will, because of uh, the aid from TM. I found that patients have specific benefits in the areas of high blood pressure, insomnia, and heart disease, and as well as in the areas of anxiety reduction, reduction of depression, and reduction in cigarette and alcohol consumption. These seem to be the most common benefits that people get from the TM program, in addition to an overall increased sense of well-being and success in their lives. The subjects that are practicing this transcendental meditation technique that have come into our laboratory show much younger biological ages. Their blood pressures are lower, their cholesterol levels are lower. Almost every different physiological parameter that you measure is indicative of really a reversal of the aging process as a result of practicing this technique. Measurements that kind of overall assess the biological age using several different parameters such as hearing, vision, vital capacity, blood pressure, and so forth, show that the biological age of these individuals can be up to 15 to 20 years younger than their chronological age. So they may be 54 chronologically, but their biological age may be only 30, 35. So this is a very profound effect of this Transcendental Meditation Program. A study based on statistics released by a major health insurance company of 1,800 people practicing TM over a four-year period showed that the TM group had 55% less medical usage and 76% less surgical usage, indicating substantially fewer accidents and less illness among people practicing TM. This study also showed that the health insurance usage only increased slightly with age as opposed to the usual sharp rise seen in people who don't meditate as they age. This further indicates a slowing of the aging process in people practicing TM. As a doctor specializing in helping industry to reduce health care costs, I consider TM to be your best investment for preventive medicine. Better health, a longer life. We all want that. Next, we'll meet some of the people who practice Transcendental Meditation. But first, you might want to write down this information on special lectures in your area, where you can find out more about the TM program. The first step in learning the Transcendental Meditation technique is to attend a free introductory lecture. TM is then easily learned in just a few hours over several days, and benefits which may vary between individuals usually come right from the start. While sitting comfortably in a chair in your own home, you can practice this technique for gaining a profound level of rest which releases stress and enjoy the tremendous refreshment this rest brings. This scientifically validated procedure for better health and development of mental potential can be quickly learned by virtually anyone of any age or background. Come Monday at 8 p.m. to the Crow Child Motor Inn, 5353 Crow Child Trail, Northwest. Tuesday at 12 noon, to the McEwen Hall Ballroom, University of Calgary. Tuesday at 8 p.m. to the Palliser Hotel, 133 9th Avenue Southwest. Wednesday at 8 p.m. to the Carriage House Inn, 9030 McLeod Trail South. Thursday at 8 p.m. to the Marlboro Inn, 1316 33rd Street Northeast. All lectures are free and open to the public. Take advantage of this special opportunity to find out how you could learn the TM program. Transcendental meditation comes from the Veda, the most ancient tradition of knowledge known to mankind. TM was revived nearly 30 years ago by Maharishi. Maharishi knew transcendental meditation to be a universal procedure which could remove stress and bring happiness to anyone from any cultural heritage, any background or walk of life. He felt the conflicts between nations emphasized the great need for this technique. And within a few years, as Maharishi traveled and taught, TM was indeed found useful by people all over the world. In 1972, on the island of Mallorca in Spain, as 2,000 people gathered to become teachers of transcendental meditation, Maharishi formulated a world plan to have transcendental meditation centers for every one million people around the globe. These new teachers formed 1,400 teaching centers in their home countries, 140 nations. In the following years, Maharishi trained over 20,000 TM teachers. 
Proclamations came from the governments of nearly every state in the United States, as well as the U.S. Congress and governments around the world. The world press responded with thousands of articles on TM. Scientists in 40 nations and some of the world's top research centers published research in the leading scientific journals describing transcendental meditation's unique ability to bring balance to every aspect of physical health and unprecedented development to the functioning of the mind. The ability to unfold mental potential fulfilled a great need in education. And as a result, Maharishi International University was founded in 1973 with its campuses now in Iowa and in Washington, D.C. Similar universities were established as well in many countries on all continents to provide an ideal system of education. And now, 27 years since Maharishi founded the Transcendental Meditation Program, it is still growing and gaining wider acceptance throughout society. Anyone can learn TM at a conveniently located center in just a few hours almost anywhere in the world. And here, TM's founder, His Holiness Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, describes the TM practice. With transcendental meditation, the activity of the mind settles down. And when the activity of the mind settles down, the mind is in the character of unbounded awareness. Unbounded awareness. This is what results from the practice of transcendental meditation. Mind quietening down, it quietens down. It's like a wave in the ocean, wave settling down, settling down, and settles down. Unbounded, quiet level of the water. So transcendental meditation creates this transcendental consciousness. People from all walks of life practice TM. Executives, celebrities, professionals, workers, students, children, whole families, people like you and me. When I first heard about it, one of the things that made it feel safe to me was that I'd heard that, you know, ministers were doing it, priests were doing it, rabbis were doing it, people of all faiths and people of all kinds of different backgrounds, and that it doesn't in any way interfere with one's religious beliefs and it is not in and of itself a religion or even a system of thought I, I was very attracted to that I was very attracted to the thought that I didn't have to even think TM would work to do it I could sit there and think this doesn't work and as long as I meditated it would still have these benefits and, um, so it appealed to the skeptic in me for many years I practiced the transcendental meditation technique and without it I would never have been able to withstand the pressures of being in a very busy parish where I was associate pastor for four years. I recommend it to the seminarians with whom I'm working now. And so a large number, a large percentage of our student body has begun practicing the TM technique. I think one thing I'm most happy about with regard to transcendental meditation that in our time of life when one would retire from business it can be very happy or it can be very unhappy. In our case it has been a very happy situation because we've had transcendental meditation uh, twice a day, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, and it straightens out your life so beautifully, and that I'm so grateful for. My husband and I have both uh, enjoyed good health since we started meditating. After I've come home and I've had a hard day at school and stuff, and I, I sit down and I meditate, and I just, if I feel, I start feeling, feeling really calm and stuff, and then when I'm done, I feel a whole lot happier and I feel better. It's allowed me to develop that inner peace, that inner freedom which every businessman needs in order to be successful in his business. And many clients recognize that inner peace inside of me, that confidence that comes across. And they feel more comfortable in that environment. We've all had the experience of waking up in the morning and feeling very fresh. Probably we're on vacation, we're in the mountains, the air is good, we've had a chance to rest. We wake up just full of vitality and creativity. Children wake up that way. The TM technique gives us deep rest, and when we finish the TM technique, there's, there's a feeling of freshness and creativity and um, a readiness to enjoy life and take on the challenges of life that makes us sure we spent the time well. For me, I found that uh, the way I interacted with uh, other individuals um, it's more in a positive sense. I don't, 
I don't really get angry that easily uh, where I used to before I get very edgy. One of the best benefits for me is that uh, I'm able to make decisions in a much more profound and precise way. I don't have to ponder a lot, you know, in order to come to decisions. And it, it gives me a lot of freedom of mind, much more easiness uh, in terms of my direction. I'm more self-confident. I'm much happier than ever. And I feel that this is what we all deserve as individuals. I was rehearsing for my television special on Broadway in 1974, and I heard that Maharishi Mahesh Yogi the teacher of transcendental meditation was going to be passing through uh, Kennedy International Airport. And I'd been meditating for two years, and I thought, what a great opportunity to meet this very wise man I'd heard so much about. I'll never forget, uh, I was in this huge crowd of 2,000 people, and somebody recognized me, and when Maharishi pulled up in his car, they opened the door and pushed me in the car. And the only thing I could say when I first looked at Maharishi, I said, hi, I'm a magician. Do you want to see some magic? <laughs> He said, follow me, and he took me up to the VIP lounge, and there I performed for him for about 15 or 20 minutes. And at the end of the performance, I looked at Maharishi and I thought, here is the wisest man I'd ever met in my life. And I had to ask him this question, this question that had been in my heart ever since I was six years old. And so I said, Maharishi is the real magic. And Maharishi looked at me and he smiled, the biggest smile I've ever seen in my life, and he said, of course. Yes, there is real magic. He said that the real magic is inside of you. It's inside of everyone. All you have to do is unfold your full potential. Infinite creativity is the potential of human intelligence. And through transcendental meditation, the awareness comes in tune with this full potential of natural law, transcendental consciousness, Transcendental consciousness, calm, quiet, collected state of consciousness is, is that level of life where full creative potential of natural law is lively and from where all the streams of activity emerge in the most orderly way. You know, in 1971, I went to hear a lecture on Transcendental Meditation myself, and the fellow said research showed that TM was effective in normalizing blood pressure, and I had high blood pressure. I was very skeptical, but I said, well, at this point, I'll try anything. Well, I did it, and I started it, and for the first five years after that, every year, my blood pressure would go down amazing amounts, both systolic and diastolic. I mean, my doctor was just amazed, so I'm convinced the bottom line, if anyone ever asked me what TM did for me, I would say, first of all, that it saved my life. You know, Burt Reynolds once sent a telegram to a director, the director of Superman, as a matter of fact, saying, I can't say too much about the TM program and what it's done for me, except that it saved my life. So I think Burt Reynolds and I have something in common. Not much, but we have something in common. <laughs> you know, we've heard many people talk about their benefits from TM. Well, next, we'll meet some educators who have found some startling results in education and applications for the whole society. But first, here's another announcement with information that you can write down on the free public lectures in your area this week, sponsored by the World Plan Executive Council, the nonprofit educational organization which makes TM available. Attending a free introductory lecture gives you the complete information necessary to start TM. Then the technique is learned in four easy classes of about an hour and a half each. You practice TM sitting comfortably in a chair with your eyes closed for a few minutes twice a day. On the outside, you appear to be just resting, but inside your mind becomes completely settled and quiet, yet remaining awake. You don't have to be able to concentrate or change your beliefs or lifestyle to begin to enjoy the very profound benefits. One study shows TM to be about twice as effective in reducing anxiety, stress, and producing deep rest as any other meditation technique or relaxation technique. Science Magazine reports that TM gives an extraordinarily deep and refreshing rest in just a few minutes. The Journal of Clinical Psychology reports TM meditators have a great reduction of stress and anxiety. The International Journal of Neuroscience reports that TM meditators have the health of a person 5 to 15 years younger. Research in Scientific American and other publications shows a dramatic reduction in the risk factors for heart disease. Other published research shows great improvements in memory, concentration, learning ability, and creativity. Come to an introductory lecture this week. Come Monday at 8 p.m. to the Crowchild Motor Inn, 5353 Crowchild Trail, Northwest. 
Tuesday at 12 noon to the McEwen Hall Ballroom, University of Calgary. Tuesday at 8 p.m. to the Palliser Hotel, 133 9th Avenue Southwest. Wednesday at 8 p.m. to the Carriage House Inn, 9030 McLeod Trail South. Thursday at 8 p.m. to the Marlborough Inn, 1316 33rd Street Northeast. All lectures are free and open to the public. Take advantage of this special opportunity to find out how you could learn the TM program. In addition to the health and personal benefits of TM, which we've seen so far, TM is equally important for the development of mental potential. Maharishi International University in Iowa, accredited through the PhD level, has gained the attention of educators as the first institution with a proven program to increase intelligence, creativity, and memory to enhance the learning ability of the student. At MIU, the students add TM to their daily routine. In school, the academic performance of the students improve their genius, really flourishes. We've seen that at MIU School and Marsh International University in Fairfield. And in every way, the individual starts to realize all that latent potential that we know we have within. So it's very thrilling for teachers and also for students and for everyone. Normally when I study before TM, it would be very hard to concentrate on my, on my studying because when I, when I tried to relax and study, all the things I was worrying about you know, would, would just rush into my head when I'm sitting there studying. I would worry about not just tests, my parents, you know, my friends, my lifestyle. You know, it all come back. And with TM, you know, it doesn't bother me as much anymore so I can study. I can read. It's a lot easier, and I seem to retain it better, too. The idea is that each individual has a, has a level of genius within them. I think most people suspect that, that they think that they're really uh, geniuses inside, and I think that it's true. Uh, that the more silent levels of our own awareness is a level of great creativity and intelligence. In fact, uh, we believe that it's the most basic level of nature, of the unified field of natural law. And that human intelligence can work from that same very deep level that nature works to, for, to do its great cre creativity, like grow grass and trees and flowers and so forth. And uh, research has shown, for example, that uh, intelligence, general intelligence increases, uh, creativity increases, and this has great benefit in daily life. People certainly notice when they start meditating that their grade point average increases in students. Uh, architects find that they have broader comprehension, greater ability to focus. And just for everyday life, people find that when they sit down and meditate, all of the turmoil and everything quiets down, and they come back into the stream of activity with much greater clarity, much greater focus, and greater happiness, too. Now let's take a minute to look at how modern physics' most advanced understanding of the laws of nature can explain the benefits of TM. The latest development in physics is the theory of the unified field. Until recently, the forces of nature, such as gravity, electromagnetism, and the forces in the atom were seen as separate. The most recent research shows them to be stemming from a unified society environment. Scientists look to the most fundamental area of nature to explain the benefits. The qualities of the unified field described by physics are infinite silence, infinite creativity, infinite dynamism, and completely evolutionary. These are the same as the experience of pure consciousness during TM. Therefore, TM is being called the Maharishi Technology of the Unified Field. In addition to its effects for the individual, the Maharishi Technology of the Unified Field has very dramatic effects for the whole society. It's been found repeatedly that a very small proportion of a city's population, only 1% of the population of a city, practicing transcendental meditation, creates a positive influence which is found in, as reduced crime rate, reduced accident rate, reduced problems of mental health in the whole city. And so when a few individuals generate that effect, everyone in the environment enjoys it. Like a wave coming in from the ocean, everything bobs up and down with the wave. And in the same way, the effect that's generated throughout society is spreads through society. Everyone enjoys it. And in addition to this effect, it's found that an even smaller number practicing the advanced program, TM City program, 
even the square root of 1% of population together in one place creates the same effect. So extending this uh, idea to its limits, we decided let's try to affect the entire world and create world peace by having 7,000 people practicing the technology together, 7,000 being the square root of 1% of the world population. <clears throat> and what we found was is that there was increased peace in the trouble spot areas of the world, decreased crime rate throughout the world, decreased infectious diseases, decreased air traffic fatalities, and so forth. Now, there's not a single leader in this world who does not need rest. Every single one. Most of them work 15, 16 hours a day, in my own experience. Now, by allowing them to have this deep rest, without doing anything else for the leader, it improves his effectiveness. Because more rested, clarity of thought, greater imagination, he performs better. The brain functioning becomes coherent, becomes orderly, that gives rise to orderly behavior of the individual and orderly behavior of a few individuals in society promote orderly behavior of the whole society. This raises national consciousness to an orderly state and this raises the collective consciousness of the nation to a state of integration and this becomes the basis for the nation to enjoy invincibility. All the results follow, only we have to understand the deep mechanics of generating coherence by taking recourse to transcendental meditation. Now, we've heard from educators who say that TM develops mental potential better than anything else, and from medical doctors on how TM is the best thing you can do for your health. Well, from all we've heard, it's obvious that TM offers tremendous benefits. I think you'd agree that when something as good and promising as this comes along, we should find out all we can about it. The next step is to attend one of the free introductory lectures in your area. You can't learn TM from a book or a TV show. Although TM is easy to learn, only someone who has practiced the technique for years and has been trained as a teacher by Maharishi is qualified to teach. So we leave you now with the information on special TM lectures in your area. We've enjoyed sharing with you something that's doing so much for so many people. Come Monday at 8 p.m. to the Crow Child Motor Inn, 5353.